Hey everyone and welcome to Suburban Sill. So today I'm doing a fun experiment on the growth of a house plant with using water versus fertilizer versus organic insect frass. So I picked up these three pothos and I really worked hard to try and get ones that are, you know, pretty similar in size that would really help kind of gauge the growth. And I'm going to put them in these three pots that have been marked. This is like stuck down there. Ooh, it's really stuck on there. There we go. I got them all marked. Hello. Well, that one says fertilizer. And we're going to see how the use of different um, fertilizers will go, basically. So first I wanna get them out of these little pots because the soil in here is like super wet, super, super wet, because I picked these up, you know, at Lowe's. They weren't super expensive, uh, three, four bucks a piece, probably, you know, five bucks if you include taxes and all that nonsense. So I'm gonna put them in these larger pots just to get them out of some of this really wet soil. That's pretty good. Now, my measurements for the fertilizer um, is two, let's see, for the frass, let me think about this. I'm going to measure for the frass, it's going to be three Force teaspoon per quart. And for my fertilizer, I'm going to be using this um, Milk Will Grow indoor plant food. It's going to be two pumps per quart. So every time I water, I'm going to be watering with either fertilizer plain water, or the insect frass. Now you might remember the insect frass um, from back when I took a tour at Yord Producers, and I'm going to be using their frass. Their recommended dose is one tablespoon to one cup per gallon of water, so. I just went based on a tablespoon. So I picked the pothos because um, it's a pretty hardy plant and I feel like I'll be able to gauge the growth pretty quickly. I mean, they'll pump out new growth relatively fast. Um, I tried a similar experiment with some like terrarium plants, and they just require way too much water, and it did not go well. So this is the golden pothos. Um, it says you can do low light conditions, you know, they're going to like a, a um, evenly moist soil. However, my pothos, I let dry out quite a bit and it does fine. So they're just not a very needy plant. Okay, so we're potted up. And honestly, the soil on these was so wet. I'm gonna just give them a day or so in the pot and then I will begin the watering process.
So it's been six months since I started my water versus frass versus fertilizer experiment. And so for a change of scenery, I'm in my office and I'm going to show you the results. So first I'm going to show you the water pothos. This plant was only given water. Um, they were all watered at the same time, but this was kind of like the placebo didn't get anything. It just got water. Um, it's still a good looking plant. The leaves are a little bit small. Um, it hasn't really started branching out, maybe just a little bit here, um, but still very good health and still looks cute and lovely. Next up, we have the frass plant. This one also doing really well, starting to really grow up tall and branch out a little bit. The leaves are much larger. The new foliage is much larger on the frass plant than on the water plant. Um, it's really healthy and looking super cute as well. Um, so there you have the frass. And lastly, I'll show you the fertilizer, the miracle Grow houseplant fertilizer that I used. Um, look at these leaves. They're really big and full. And this plant is, um, has like a really thick stem, thick and healthy stem for sure. Um, the frass stem also really nice and thick and strong. So on both of those, just much healthier plants. The water stems, you know, they're just about the same as when I got it. They're still pretty thin. Um, so it just kind of speaks to the benefits of using fertilizers. Now, if you're into organic um, house plants and doing organic fertilizer, Frass is going to be a great way to go. Not only are you getting the benefits of natural fertilizer, but you're also going to get um, protection against pests um, because of the chitin in the exoskeletons um, really helps to keep those from munching on your leaves. So here is a side by side of, let's see, the frass and the fertilizer. Um, you know, the fertilizer one does seem to look a little bit more branchier that could just be the plant too but like i said i tried to get plants that were of similar size um, but i would say either way you want to go you're going to get a really good benefit of just larger growth and now that i've seen it firsthand i'm definitely going to be using more fertilizers in my house plants because i have some plants where the leaves are really small and i'm just not getting that foliage um, the way i would like so there you have my water versus frass versus fertilizer experiment. Um, it was, I was really glad that I did it. It's really showed me a lot. I always kind of, I kind of shy away from fertilizers because I'm always afraid that I'm going to overdo it. But um, I don't think you can really overdo it with the frass. That's always like a safe way to go. Um, I don't think that you can put too much on, um, whereas some of the commercial fertilizers can be a little bit scarier. Um, but Make sure and subscribe to my channel for more plant projects that are coming up. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Suburban Sill and remember to check out my website for more plant fun, SuburbanSill.com. Thanks and I'll see you next time.